Hello there, fellow space pirates and oh. space uh, space the spacemen. That sounds space awful women. nostalgic. Welcome to Galaga Wars. Galaga hey, Wars. Another, another iOS game I'm showing off, and uh, okay, don't, don't mind all these things because I just now synced up my account, so it's trying to show me all the stuff I already got. So as mm -hmm. you see in the upper right, yes, one of the ships that you can unlock is based on Sky Kid. Oh, cool, Sky Kid. So, so this is a game by Bandai Namco. And essentially, loot box, and is essentially a massive, like, homage to all of the old, like, freaking Atari, freaking old, like, Commodore, not Commodore, but at least arcade shooters of the day, days. You know, Galaga, Xevious, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, that's Star right. Blade, Star Blade, Galaxian, all of that. And, mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah, since it's Namco, nowadays you can get a Katamari Damashi ship. Which is basically, which is basically, what's it, what's his, what's his name, Prince? The Prince. Called? Yeah, just it's just the Prince flying around. Oh god. And uh, you also get some of his cousins, and uh, there's also one based on Pac-Man. Ooh, because of course. Yeah, but um, so I'm showing off now some gameplay. Yes, this is essentially Galaga. You control with the touch screen. Oh, I shall save you. Hey, cool! It's Gal. Uh, hey, cool! It's uh, another Galaga ship. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. you, and now you got twin. You got twin shooters. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful though. If you get hit though, you'll lose it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So our plan is to destroy the queen bee and and save the galaxy or some crap. And it's um. You get credits, oh, which credits bad. can be which credits can be used and blue credits can be used to try and advance your progress. I don't want to call it a roguelite. It's more like a runner kind of game where yeah, we just cleared sector one, so now we're trying to get all the way to sector ten. Ooh. Which is, I think, where the game ends right now. Also, it. um... It does get harder. Um, real quick, I'm sorry, James, but when it did the whole not bad thing, the first thing that came to mind was, Pretty good! Oh, God. <laughs> Natalie, oh. Natalie's words of wisdom will never die. Xevious! Ooh! Ooh. So, yeah, so, yeah, a bunch of uh, different shooters, which I don't know if they were all made by Namco or whatever, but... Uh, yeah, a yeah, Xevious was Namco. Up. Yeah, a oh. bunch of shooters join up, and it's... It just is so fun. Yeah, it does, oh, seem, nice. it does seem pretty fun. And, Crap. Oh, hi there. I, I, uh, it pauses. It pauses whenever you act. It pauses automatically whenever you lift your finger up from the screen. Oh. Uh, so we lost the Galaga ships. Now it's just down to Zevius. Oh. Now. Well, and actually, a pretty cool thing is that. Um, so similar to, um, actually similar to. Um, uh, let's see if I can get that ship. Ah, come on, give me the ship. Circle there breaker. Let me get that Galaga ship back. Yay. Uh, Similar to, um, oh, nice achievement. Crap, I'm so sorry, I'm forgetting the name that, what's the name of the big shooter that Konami made, the big one, Side Scroller? Uh, Side Scroller? Uh, oh, oh, um, Gradius. Gradius, yeah, thank you. Wait, Gradius Similar to Gradius. Oh, never mind. Well, no, 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 it, it wouldn't be. Uh, that, but it's not a top-down shooter. Okay, come on, Queen B. All right, yeah. well, that, that, second phase. Well, to be fair, uh, technically the Big Viper from Gradius mm. did have his own, did start a top-down shooter. I think that was Life Force. Nice. I thought, no, I thought Life Force was also a, like the trail. Ah, it was it was both. And down. Yeah. Oh, and the bugs come in to pray. All right, unfortunately, I have some lives left for today, so I'm just gonna continue that and let's get a roulette wheel going. Okay. What ship will I get? Today's ship will be Galaxian. Oh, the Galaxian ship. Well, have hey. fun, have fun, have fun living living with with the obsolete. Yeah, so every ship actually, if you notice in the top part of the screen, the blue blocks, mm -hmm. similar to Gradius, there are, like, options that uh, you get these little green power-ups, and, um, but, but you're not able to control it like the red pellets in Gradius, so it's just a roulette wheel, but whatever it lands on gets you a certain power-up. So now I have piercing bullets. Nice. Ooh. And if I remember, but uh, and, and each of the ships has their own. Uh, each of the ships has their uh, own unique uh, set, or at least different uh, power-ups to choose from. Hmm. There we go. Intriguing. After and that, uh, after yeah. that space, oh, after that space bitch. And then coins can be used to upgrade your uh, ship's fire rate. Um, can be used to upgrade the. Uh, can be used to, similar to like runner games. They can be used to upgrade how cool the power ups help you. Uh, uh, blue credits can be used to uh, speed. Like these are warp credits, which can be used to like let's say nice a wall. Like let's say I didn't want to go through sector one again. I could spend some blue credits to just jump ahead to like sector three or something, and thus save myself some of the agonizing trouble of going through sector one again if I'm trying to conserve lives. Uh, oh dear. Well, that's that's convenient anyway. And uh, this game is free on iOS. I do not know if it's free on Android or Google Play yet. 
Oh, and now that I mention it, I never even mentioned. Apparently, I uh, remember Lumino City. Uh, yeah. Apparently, that has a Steam version as well. Really? Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even know about it, but yeah, I'm like. Well, you know. So yeah, I'm like I could I should just done that one, but but yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I guess I'll right back, guys. Check. Okay. Yeah, let me just double check now to make sure I'm not, not forgetting something. But yeah, I'm fairly certain that oh, that's every box, right? Device. Nice. Yeah, let me check to make sure that it, yeah, Lumio City is on Steam. But yeah, let me see if if Gag Wars is on anything else. I'm fairly certain it's only on. Yeah, because because it, it looks like uh, it's it looks like it's built with a mobile mentality. Okay, yes, and it is and it is also available on Android. Okay. So come on, gotta get further into this. But uh, who's up for I, who's up for the Pride Pride Centipede? And then credits can be used to buy ships or buy good, cool little thingies. That's like your premium currency. Ah. Because yeah, I do that freemium model. Because yeah, it's just it's it's just so, it's just that it's just the um. I don't I don't even have the words to describe how much I hate premium. Yeah. Uh, let me. So I guess let's talk about history. By the way, I love the soundtrack of this. It's, Galaga was like my favorite arcade game growing up. Yeah, this sounds more so than Donkey Kong. This sounds shockingly epic. It's really fun, but uh, yeah, so Galaga was like definitely like my go-to arcade game. Really fun, shoot, really classic shoot 'em up. I, I never, I, I never really played games like Afterburner or you know, Centipede or Xavier. Centipede was more my mom's favorite game. But, yeah, I can't, I can't, think of, I can't think of an arcade. In near me that has the likes of Centipede or Afterburner. Uh, Zephius Ze really? was also kind of. Well, well not Zephius. Um, uh, Galaga was actually kind of a semi rare one. Like, I don't. I see it every. I saw it every once in a while, but not enough to, for me to. Well, actually acknowledge it. Like, the most, I, the most like, I've experienced is Miss Pac Man and um, uh, some of the fighters, like Marvel vs. Capcom or Street Fighter 2, what have you. Uh -huh. And of Emerald ah, Country. Oh god! I should have been looking at my. I, should, I was looking at. My eyes were too distracted by the power ups up there. Feed my children. Feed. Fine. Let's get another life. Let's see what I get. Uh, okay, Zevius. Let's go again. Yeah. Little, it's like little, it's little, like little, it's like this game is trying to beg you to do that for a look at or something. No, I'm not gonna do any of those games. Let's look at. But yeah. Um. But and again, like you can either get ships. And Isaac and now melee Ooh. things. Again, you can get. <laughs> Come on, eat it. They say, too much, they say a little too much ga Galaga is, too, is bad for your eyes, but that's a bit literal. Ha! Nice. Um, and again, you can either get ships by uh, taking down a uh, pilot to go into twin mode, or uh, I guess now, that, that was new to me, they now have this... Uh, they now have this live system, which probably refreshes daily, which gives you uh, lives to use on the ships that you've currently unlocked. Well, hey, some way to, some way to improve longevity. So, does this game look at all interesting to you, James? It does look moderately fun. Like, I, th I see I see myself getting a little more mileage out of this, and... Hey! That's Galaga 88! Hey! Mm. Look at that guy. But, um, anyway, like, I, I would say I'd probably get a little more mileage out of this than, say, that, um, Arkanoids versus, um, Space Invader game that I got you know, not too long ago. Okay. I mean, that's not a bad game by, by any stretch, it's just that... I kind of have the stigma with mobile games lately, where I only play them for like maybe a few days or whatever, and then I get immediately, I immediately get bored of them. I hear you. Uh, oh, how about man. you, Hype? How does this game look to you, knowing that it is free and available on all mobile, on all mobile platforms? Well, that's definitely a that's definitely a pretty sign on my end, and I've always had I've always had a slight fondness for this genre of games. Like I definitely enjoy them playing Galaxia back at the CC's Pizza that is nearby. They have that. That's a lot of fun and. I don't, I don't think I'd be good at these kind of games, but I do, but I do enjoy them whenever I get the chance to play them, and yeah, I might check this out eventually. Okay. Easy does it. Oh, more. It does help that they actually have the occasional flashes of red to showcase where the bugs are going to spawn from. Yeah, that helps, because I, I cannot tell you how many times I've died in the past by accidentally like, hugging a wall. E, shall go, e, you shall go e. on What is, um, I'm trying to think, so you, you mentioned Galaga Legion? Uh, yeah, Galaga Legion. That was a game uh, released from Holiday roughly Holiday Galaga! The... Hey! This is from okay. a Christmas update, but now I am a sleigh. Oh my god. It is a Galaga sleigh. So Galaga arcade machines for everyone! But, um... Anyway, Everybody um... Everybody loves the sleigh. Yeah. 
Anyway, uh, Galaga Legion. That came out roughly around the same time as the Pac-Man Championship Edition DX. And or actually, the, I know the original uh, Legion was released around that around the time of the original Champion. And they were kind of like dual type of games, but um, I only remember so much of the Legion games. They were basically just flashier versions of the original Radius, and I guess in a way are a little more eye candy than this. But at the same time, they were also a little too much eye candy for what it's worth. That's fair. Like, this seems like a better balance by comparison. And hey, you got you got freaking Pac-Man and Xevious and, Sun and uh, Santa Galaga play thing here. Hooray! That sounds like that sounds like a really bad like that sounds like a really bad uh, Captain N episode. Oh my god. The, the, Santa versus the, the, the Martians. God, that, that, don't forget that episode or movie. <laughs> Santa saves uh, the world from his slayer. Yeah. Anyway, um, anyway, that does remind me of you, know, you were talking about how they have like Pac-Man and whatnot. I'm trying to think. How do you think they would handle a representation of Klonoa for something like this? A mobile? Uh, no, for this just this genre of game, like shooter and whatnot. Uh, shooter? Klonoa hmm. shooter? I think it could be done. It's just that um, they'd have to they'd have to follow the rules of the of the original ah. games. Well. Wow. Well, how many times good. are you gonna be? How much? How many times are you gonna be bug lunch? They're good. They keep eating me. All right, uh, we have two more lives left. Let's just get the star blade. Yeah. Star anyway, blade. Uh, uh, let me see if I can rephrase my question. Like, if they decide to add like another Namco cameo into this, you know, like they did with Pac-Man and the other one, how do you think they would find a good cameo for to represent Klonoa in this? Uh, ah. hey, really? Oh, there I, goes the star blade. That didn't last. Wow. Okay, we have right, awesome. we, we, we have a, we have a roulette left. Let's see what our final life will be. Uh, uh me quickly you, using an ad. I'm ad. not going to show in this video. Good. <laughs> oh, I guess I died. Okay, oh, never mind. Never mind then. We're done. Not showing an ad. No, I don't want to share my score. That was short lived. <laughs> uh, hey, no, Tekken. I don't care about Tekken Seven. Which Tekken <laughs> is up? Uh, which yeah, Tekken. Play is a available. better Namco so. game, you dweeb. This is a fun game, but yeah, that's about it. And, oh, uh, hello. So yeah, these are all the ships you can get: the Katamari Damashi, Sky Kid, Pac-Man. There's Galaga, Zevia, Starblade, Gal Galaxian, Galaga, and I don't. I mean, yeah, they may be outdated, but I'm at least glad that they have some sort of spiritual like. I'm glad that they like are being remembered in this game at least. Yeah, that's some mm -hmm. sort of Pretty dying handy. tribute. And with that, you've reached sector six. What are you gonna do now? I'm going to space, Disneyland. Actually, I'm going to spend a bunch of my coins to upgrade this Zevia ship because I realized I should really be upgrading the Silver Loop. Oh, you know what they say. Practicality over pleasure. And, of course, let's upgrade the Galaga ship itself. or No, no, the Starblade. Starblade ship. Okay. I gotta remember all these. I, I don't remember all their names like FX01. I just know the Vic Viper and whatever the Galaga ship was called. Pac-Man ship. So, I wonder how the Pac-Man... I wonder how the Pac-Man shoots. Uh, he and shoots he power shoots out of his mouth. Yeah. Oh, that would make sense. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if that were the case. Actually, that does remind me. Technically, Pac-Man has starred in his own Galaga S spinoff before. Like, really? um, for Namco, for the Namco Museum make, remix slash Mega Mix, one of the um, remixed uh, games that they had on there was um, Galaga, and it was actually it played a lot differently compared to this. It was it wasn't so much like a space shooter. It was more like a on it's like an on rail sort of game where, kind of like House of the Dead or whatever, where while pa while Pac-Man is rolling through this intergalactic Maybe obstacle so course you had to shoot all oh. the bugs before they got in his way i think okay. i remember i think i remember seeing that actually that's mm -hmm. cool i did an old review of that uh, of that of that collection a long time ago and i would not advise those to, not advise anyone to really watch those because that's outdated as fuck if i still have my wii u or wii whatever i probably would do another look at of that game oh. and credits but, but yeah i'll just show these credits now but yeah i'll just say I like the top-down shoot 'em up, you know, Toho's and all that. But you know, the classic arcade shooters are always great, and glad to see that they are having the. They're, they're glad to see that there is a sort of modern equivalent for now. Tied me to, to tied myself over, mm -hmm. even though this main menu music is kind of repetitive. It's like a it's like a fifteen second loop. God, that's always. But when you're in the but when you're in the game, it's these kinds of games. They always loop so often. But when you're in the game, it's good. Okay, skip this. Come on, <gasps> we get it. Fast forward. Prepare to fast forward. Okay, you're good. But yeah, with that said, thank you all so much for joining me for this quirky little look at. I'm Lucky Jack Twenty. I'm James Mainstream. And I'm Galigoo. 
And we uh, shall see you later in a place where no man has gone before. Till next time, guys.